Everyone's quite familiar with, you know, the tragic, the tragic hero and the tragic storyline of Macbeth. Characters that are constantly trying to, to achieve more and trying to um, almost basing their, their, their worth and their being on becoming something beyond themselves. So you've got the Macbeth storyline, um, which is essentially Macbeth meets witches and hears a prophecy and begins to feel um, uncontent with what he has and wanting more. It's this this whole idea of wanting more. And then he puts some, some jesters in it and it seems a bit nicer for a while. And he wipes his little tail and he can do a, make him do a foot. Do a foot. Uh. Get to sort of hold on to this idea that, well, being con um, being content with what you have, being content with being lesser, um, is the most joyful way that you can live your life. This is Jelly Bean. Mango Steam. Bowling Green? Mango Steam. Mango Steam. Surface Steam? Ah! So eventually, it turns out that, um, you know, it's very hard to be a jester in the world of Macbeth. It's very hard to be content with being someone who is lesser in a world where, you know, ambition is absolutely king. It's a tragedy. It is It is ultimately a tragedy, even though there's, you know, comedy and there's um, laughs and lightheartedness. You know, we try to keep the spotlight on the fools where we can because the, the message that I think we want people to take away from this is that it is, what life is about is being able to be content with lesser. That is called into question several times throughout the play, but I think that's that's the um, the end result is is the full sort of joy of being lesser, and I think that's quite beautiful.